working on adding and subtracting decimals. And- it's another day inside Miss Dainberg's math class. The task at hand, completing this exercise. But subtraction isn't for everyone. What's your favorite subject? Gym. In this case, we're adding. Math is a tough sell here, or at least it used to be. Recently, Daneberg began exploring a new way to educate. We're using handheld GPS receivers. They just love it. Anytime that I pull out the GPS units, they're so excited to go outside, learn in a different way, and be active while they're learning and using technology. We're 16 meters away. And anything to keep kids interested in math helps. Stats Canada reveals that students who are engaged in the mathematical learning process tend to perform better, are more receptive to further learning, and being a motivated math student can also impact later education educational and career choices. I got it. It's called geocaching. Using receivers, students search for caches, hidden objects that in this case contain math problems. Use six pieces of money to make 255. What I do is I go out ahead of time and hide the caches all over the schoolyard and I program the coordinates into the GPS and the kids head out with the GPS units. Nope, not down the slide. Dayenberg's been known to hide caches in some pretty obscure spaces. In the snow, up a tree, pretty much anywhere that'll send kids searching. And the kids say finding and solving these problems on the playground sure beats working on them in homeroom. It's just fun to come outside and do all this stuff besides just sitting in your desk and writing stuff. I don't like math that much, but this is pretty fun. You feel much more happy and more willing to do the puzzle when you're outside here. We're adding 429. This is very kinesthetic, so learning hands-on. It just gives kids a chance to learn in a different setting and in a different atmosphere. Making math class a treasure hunting experience. For your city, I'm Alexandra Bell.